In this video, although August 2024 is already well underway, I will introduce some noteworthy new Fallout 4 mods. Let's start with a gameplay-related mod called Cinematic Reloads. This mod applies a cinematic depth effect when reloading weapons in Fallout 4. To apply the mod, first launch the Fallout 4 launcher. For a stronger effect, set the cinematic depth effect to bokeh. If you are using ENB, make sure to open the settings and uncheck Disable Game Depth of Field if it is checked. One of the advantages of this mod is that you can adjust the DOF intensity through MCM and toggle the mod on and off. However, some users have mentioned that the refocus time is too slow. There is another mod with similar functionality called Black Style Reload, so you can test both mods and choose the one that suits your preferences. For cinematic reloads, remember to install the Garden of Eden Papyrus script extender before using it. Next up is Enhanced Movement. This mod enhances the naturalness and variety of character movements in Fallout 4. By pressing the crouch key while sprinting, you can perform a slide. The slide is supported in both first-person and third-person perspectives, allowing for more tactical maneuvers. Additionally, this mod provides a slight bonus to movement speed during continuous sprints, reduces speed by 25% when moving backward, and by 15% when moving sideways. Moreover, sprinting outside of combat does not consume AP, and an animation is added where the character stumbles briefly when falling from a height, improving various movements. Next up is Wasteland Graffiti. This mod enhances immersion by adding graffiti to selected locations across the entire map of Fallout 4. The graffiti comes in various colors, shades, and variations, carefully chosen to fit the Fallout world, adding a touch of vandalism to a world abandoned for over 200 years. Next up is Diverse Wasteland. This mod enhances the variety of NPCs in Fallout 4 by integrating 20 independent mods over the course of 10 months, providing a total of 4,130 unique faces to randomly generated NPCs across various groups and factions in the game. The mod adds unique faces to different groups and factions, such as the Brotherhood of Steel, Children of Adam, Coursers, and Diamond City Security. Most NPCs have different heights, and those with unique names are not affected. Additionally, the mod restores the previously deleted Gunner Leathers outfit, adds it to the Under Armour list for Gunners and Trappers, and expands the outfit list for Gunners and Triggermen to allow for more diverse attire. When the Settler Bell is activated, Settlers will run instead of walk, and they will carry weapons while traveling between settlements, enhancing the immersion and making the various characters in Fallout 4 more lively. In this segment, we bring you news about a major quest mod, Fallout Vault 13. Recently released as a demo on Nexus Mods, this quest mod is a remake and reimagining of the classic Fallout game using the Fallout 4 engine. It includes the first major open world area called the Inyo. Similar in scale to Fallout London, this mod allows you to explore a beautifully reimagined 3D world of the original Fallout's desolate landscapes. Every location, including the worn interiors of Shady Sands and Vault 15, has been meticulously handcrafted. However, please note that this mod does not yet include voice acting, and as it is a demo version, your feedback will greatly aid in its development. This is a perfect opportunity to experience classic Fallout in a new way. In this segment, we'll introduce a few of the latest rifle mods. First up is the SIG MCX Shrike. This rifle is a straightforward yet practical assault rifle that offers both tactical and standard reload options, featuring quite clean reload animations. It uses vanilla 5.56 ammunition, making it easy to supply, and can be crafted at the chem station. While the customization options are relatively simple, the shooting experience is quite satisfying. Next up is Ico's Modern Warfare 3, SOA Subverter ARX200. This mod adds the SOA Subverter Assault Rifle from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to Fallout 4. 
The rifle uses 5.56 meter ammunition and includes unique variants called Cannon Event and Death Bleeds Over. This mod requires the latest version of Stooge's COD modding framework and offers tactical reload functionality. The creator has put in a lot of effort to provide a high quality product, featuring various animations and functions that allow users to experience more dynamic gunfights. Next up is the Homestead Carbine, an early game 9 millimeter carbine. This mod adds the Henry Homesteader to Fallout 4, providing a carbine rifle that uses 9 millimeter rounds and can be utilized early in the game. Starting from level 7, it can be looted from enemies, making it quite useful in the early stages. Its design is fairly vanilla friendly, so you can use it without any concerns. Next up is the Universal Sporting Shotgun. This shotgun is based on the Korean AR-15 and uses 12-gauge shotgun shells, but in the game, it uses shells. It boasts a high rate of fire, though it comes with a damage penalty. It offers various customization options and can be acquired from enemies or NPCs starting at level 18, making it a rare alternative to the combat shotgun. In this segment, we'll be introducing outfit-related mods. First up is the Zenless Zone Zero Zuyuan. As the name suggests, this outfit adds the attire worn by the character Zuyuan from Zenless Zone Zero. The outfit features a suit base with a striking blue jacket, shoes, and shoulder guards. It's quite an impressive look. Due to its rather cute design, you might need a custom race with an adorable style to pull off this outfit. It also supports CBBE body slide and can be crafted at the chemistry station. Next up is the Stellar Blade Institute suit. This mod retextures the Institute suit outfit, originally created by Kim1983, to resemble the planetary diving suit from Stellar Blade. It transforms the Institute suit in Fallout 4 into a new, unique style, offering a fresh look in the game. If you prefer sleek suit styles or find the original Institute suit a bit dull, this mod is a great alternative to try out. In this segment, we'll be introducing a workshop-related mod. First up is the working cable car. This mod adds a cable car that can be used in the workshop mode. You can create a conveyor belt loop in your settlement and place the cable car on it. First, build the conveyor belt loop Place the cable car on it and connect it with wires. However, be cautious when constructing the belt loop, as the cable car object can flip over if it collides with other buildings while moving. Although it's a fairly simple workshop mod, it can inspire a variety of building ideas. Next up is the ITO Institute Workbenches mod. This mod adds Institute-themed workbenches to Fallout 4 offering a variety of workbenches in the Institute style. Designed with the clean, white aesthetic of the Institute, these workbenches allow for the creation of more diverse structures. Enhance your settlements with this mod and bring a touch of the Institute to your creations. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest Fallout 4 mods for the August 2024. We hope you found some exciting additions to enhance your gaming adventures in the Commonwealth. Remember to subscribe for more updates on the latest mods and gaming content. See you next time, and happy modding.